Hello everyone, and today we're going to be learning about um, integer literals. So if we're going to do basically an integer, it's hex and it's octal. So for now we're going to do pound include, like always, io stream. And then we're going, that's, that's about it for this one. And then we're going to do a int main like we usually do. And return zero. So what we're going to do is make int des int, well, well, we'll do n underscore int n hex and int n oc. So an octal so well, what we're going to do for decimal, right? So equals 42, right? So that would be the decimal for that. And in hex, it would be uh, 0x42. And then in octal, would be 0, 042. So then what we could do is C out. Oh, you know what we forgot? using namespace std and then we're going to do a c out n des is is the number in decimal And then what we can do here, let's do the other three, is in hex and then octal. And then we can do hex and oc, oc. Then we're going to do a system pause. We're going to run this. So, 42, waste, and 42. So, each of them are different. We passed in 42 hex, and each of them are different because they're different values in each different one. So 42 is decimal, 66 is in that, so that's the hex, and then 34 is the octal. So if we didn't know this, what we could do, right, we could just do 42, 42, and a cool thing about the IO stream is what we can do is leave that we can do hex and octal and oct so then now if we run this and what this does is this converts it for us when we put it into the C out 42, 2, and 52, 2a, and then 52 is for 42. So that's what it would do for us. And doing that is different from just doing that. So like if we did that, that would be an entirely different number because 2a is 42, not 0x42, which would end up being 66, and then octal would be the same way. And then 42 is always that same decimal number. So octal, hex, and decimals are always going to be different. So you need to make sure that when you're trying to make them all the same, they're a constant. And with that, that is the literals that you have to understand and play around with that. Um, like you said, you could follow this. This is real simple to do. And then you could play around with all different numbers and see what all different numbers that come out. So if you guys enjoyed, thanks. And I will see you guys in the next video.